Three signs the anime you're watching is peak. Witnessing peak can be one of the greatest things to ever happen to you, bro. Better than meeting the love of your life. Like, it's up there, bro, with having your first child. It's one of the greatest things you'll ever experience, mm. bro. But how do you know what you're watching is peak? How do you know you're witnessing one of the greatest things ever conceived? The Let first me know. sign that you're witnessing modern arts is if it includes the arts of two or more individuals laying the smackdown on one person. Okay. The arts of jumping. Okay. What the heck am I listening to? Every great piece of art has a moment where two individuals collectively decide to beat the dog shit out of one person for no reason. Okay. What is he showing me? And Sasuke versus Momoshiki. If somebody mm -hmm. embarrassed, that's a peak anime fight. But also, we have to really talk about it. This isn't Naruto. This is Baruto or Baruto. This ain't even Naruto no more. So can we really give credit to Naruto when it's really Baruto? Indirectly, what Chico is telling me is Baruto is peak. That's what he's saying. He's saying that he enjoys Baruto more than Naruto. I'm talking Naruto and Sasuke versus Momoshiki. If somebody embarrasses you this bad for, hold on, let me check real quick. Uh, three minutes, you better Damn. up the blick, bro. That fire needs to stay on you and you need to air that bitch out, okay? I'm talking what? Yuji and Nanami giving Mahito the cleanest nah. dice up I've ever seen in my entire life. This this scene right here perfectly portrays the art of jumping. This is what I think about anytime someone says the art of jumping. They really f that nigga Mahito up with this. Like Mahito was given the worst performance I ever seen in my entire life. He was throwing up the Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul numbers. Like that's <laughs> actually insane. And keep in mind, bro, there are niggas out there that are completely jump resistant. Like Jiren, this nigga was having none of it. Imagine jumping a nigga and he just weaves every single thing you throw at him, bro. At that point, I'm jumping in my car and leaving, bro. I'm Cell and Broly also might be jump resistant. Don't forget about Broly, bro. That's all I gotta say. When I'm jumping in my car and leaving, bro. I'm done. There's no point in me doing this, all right? But for your casual background villain ass nigga, he's getting tossed, okay? They putting this nigga in the ghetto clouds with X and Juice World, bro. It's crazy. What? He's gonna be put in a poster, all right? The worst possible case scenario being an anime villain, bro, is getting jumped. The next day you check Twitter and they added the let him get up, let him get up. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one, bro. I'm deleting every social media and moving to the Himalayan mountains if they ever did me like that. That's why I keep that thing on me wherever I go, bro, because my hero fans, they be out here looking for my head bro catch me looking out the window like malcolm x bro i, I be shivering in my timbers are oh, you got beef with the anime fandom too me and dollar nine fans are at war right now i'm not even trying to shit on the anime they just took it the wrong way i said one thing and now i'm the enemy of the state if your anime doesn't have at least one moment where two or more niggas are like yo bro honestly real shit, bro i i, I just want to jump this nigga. i hate this nigga so much he gets under my skin so bad let's collectively beat the dog shit out of him what is happening what memes are you putting in this video? No anime is perfect without the arts of the comeback. Or I understand it now. Chica, you a head ass. What clutch <laughs> anime comebacks are kind of cliche at this point, but it don't even matter, bro. When I'm watching the TV and there's a clutch moment in anime, it never fails. My she start involuntarily. What is this picture? Why did you add this into the video? Somebody else has to see this bullshit that you be showing us, bro. My supporters have to see this. They always calling me gay and sus, but it be you niggas too. I'm tired of the allegations only being pointed towards me. This nigga got a big booty ass broly on my screen and y'all better press him. Y'all better press him, bro. Never fails. My ass she start involuntarily clapping. I'm on my ice spice timing before the Ozempic, all right? Oh, hell no. I still smash though. Like the moment where Toji really thought he buried my nigga Gojo. He thought he put him in the dirt. Bro, thought he put him on a poster. Put him in a graveyard. But nah, not this time. <laughs> the Gojo pop back up like your dad when you get that NBA contract, bro. Nah, son. No cap. Yo, man, I've been looking for you, son. Nah, man. Nah, you said you in the, the NBA, though? Imagine stabbing a nigga in his jugular and pulling that bitch down to the chest and you see that nigga laying in his own blood. You like, yeah, he's finished. He's done. And bro, pop back up like a fat nigga <laughs> asking for the third plate. Bro, what the fuck? But there's no crazier comeback than my nigga Gohan in the cell fight, bro. He truly understood it now. Nigga came back with Super Saiyan 2 and sent- He didn't even need to understand it now. But I guess you could say he did understand it now. He was trying to be too nice. That's his problem. He could have been beat Cell. But he was trying his hardest to persuade Cell to be a different different person he's evil kill him to oblivion imagine your dad sacrificing himself to kill somebody right sacrificing every last thing he has to kill somebody but only your dad die hell nah bro i'm getting it back in blood i understand gohan completely I'm going to I'm going to 
What the heck? A clutch comeback can save a show. You could be watching a show, and a clutch comeback will put you right back in the drama, bro. Like the yeah. way Naruto came back from the most devastating loss ever, bro. Imagine a nigga pinning you to the floor with poles, and your girl try to save you, and he beat your girl ass too. Hell no, nah, <laughs> I understand Naruto's method. He came back with vengeance. He thought he was Batman. See, Nagato didn't know, bro, that when you fuck with somebody's girl, that unlocks a secret method in your brain, all right? The secret boxing method. Nigga came back with the nine tails like it was no issue, bro. The third and final sign that a show is peak, that you're witnessing seen the greatest thing you've ever seen in your entire life bro is when the main character is willing to get active at any moment you see a main character okay. standing on business is imperative for a plot all right like imagine watching a show bro and a character is reluctant to get down like he's dodging a fade like not a show i'm watching brother look at baki and oliver bro <laughs> beyond all the unchanged <laughs> there's just two men that want to punch each other in the face and you know there's something beautiful about that there's something artistic about that and i mean look at this there's something artistic about two men wanting to grapple each other and halfway naked there's something beautiful artistic about men being naked while touching each other is that what you're saying chico is that what you're saying my brother artistic about that and i mean look at this big black cigar huffing nigga, all right would y'all fight bro i know you wouldn't i know niggas with street kds hired at albert einstein's iq that wouldn't fight bro oh his gosh. name ain't baki never hit from a fade homma for no reason bro you're saying i should absolutely do it Cold. I mean, these niggas were trading <laughs> punches like fight night champion, bro. And Baki just sat across from him throwing haymakers like it was nothing. But you see, that's simply the amazing thing about a character who will get down at any moment. Literally not even in the ring type shit, bro. That's the type of shit I'm talking about. A character who will get down anywhere. <laughs> bro, Saitama, what? bro. Saitama was never ducking fades, bro. He cold. Let's not act like Saitama. Uh, sometimes he did. He just didn't feel like it. Or he would leave a fight to go to the grocery store because they have a sale. Saitama sometimes didn't want to fight because he always won. I'm not saying he ran away from a fight, but sometimes he did. It did a little ducking. He cold. Let's not act like Saitama's godly boxing match with Boros didn't happen, bro. Like, bro had no qualms. How did y'all see this yet? Who was I've never seen this. I've heard about it, but I've never seen this. Is this animated yet? Am I missing something? I swore I watched the whole season two. I've never seen this person on the screen, but I know who that is. Let's not act like Saitama's godly boxing match with Boros didn't happen, bro. Like, bro had no qualms boxing somebody who was calling himself the dominator of the universe. The dominator of the universe? I'm good, bro. I'm not trying to fight a nigga named the dominator of the universe. You ain't trying to get dominated. That's your problem, bro. You got toxic masculinity problems. You're not trying to get dominated by the dominator of the universe. That's the best type of domination right there. Yo, Chico, you got to get into therapy about that one, bro. Of the universe, not one single individual on any planet could dominate you. That's crazy. What you think I'm a... See, bro, look, man, you got to be up for the challenge, Chico. You got to be up for the challenge. Dominate him. I didn't think name the dominator of the universe. Not one single individual on any planet could dominate you. That's crazy. What you think I'm going to do? Cody didn't even let him finish his sentence. All right. He boxed the mid-sentence. <laughs> like, that's a different breed right I now, bro. Seen Somebody who landed on your planet talking about he's the dominator of the universe and you have such little respect for bro, you punch him dead in his sh Mid sentence? This is different. <laughs> Bro, these little memes are hilarious. Goat Luffy pulled up on Kata Curry like it was nothing. He had no qualms with beating his ass either. Now, I agree, Kata Curry did dog Luffy sh for like half the fight. But we all know Luffy the comeback king, bro. He is literally the prince of getting his ass whooped for like 30 episodes straight and then last minute being like, you know what, nigga, not nah. So basically, he's a third quarter merchant. He's the Golden State Warriors in the prime. I got you. A lot of people are comeback teams like the Eagles sometimes or the Buccaneers. Now, I know this video is called Three Signs You're Witnessing Pete, but uh, I got a fourth one for y'all because I love y'all. Say thank you. I be Thanks. trying to record these videos, but you know how the hoes be trying to get me, bro. I got to push them off me crazy. But the fourth and final way to know you're witnessing peak anime, bro, is when the villain is goaded, bro. Main characters, side characters, protagonists, deuteragonists, all that shit, right? What? They're all cool but none of that means shit if there's a bad villain all right a good villain can save a show manga whatever all right let's not act like if sukuna wasn't the main villain of jjk that it wouldn't be as popular but it definitely would not sukuna's what y'all feel about that take i know it's a lot of jjk fans out there without sukuna do y'all think jjk would have flopped i ain't taking no sides in that argument i'm gonna leave it up to the comments let me know in the comments below how y'all feel about that definitely would not sukuna's presence his aura you could say carried the show heavily not saying the show wasn't good without him because it was an amazing cast the show was really good 
He won't even in that many episodes. He's more prevalent in the manga, but the anime, he only showed up here and there. Now, if you just said Gojo, I would truly agree with that statement. Gojo made the show. He carried that show for a little bit. And then Sukuna carried the show in the manga but the beginning nah bro gojo is the reason why a lot of people watched it all the girls was fiending over here some more shit. So let's not act like the main villain did not carry bro if jjk did one thing it was glaze the holy shit out of gojo okay oh we can agree me. look you glaze me but they always made sure to let you know there's one nigga stronger than gojo and sukuna was mad crazy i fuck with sukuna but you know this the chico channel bro you know exactly what anime i choose to glaze all right because the greatest anime villain of all time is my goat tizen bro there's not one anime villain touching aizen okay madara came close all right madara came close i'll say that he came close but no merum and aizen go ban for ban is the greatest anime villains of all time all right i can agree with that the ant king the king of the chimera ants merium great villain aizen good villain i ain't got nothing to say chico i'm not trying to beef with you no more bro i ain't trying to do that i'm trying to pick a holy approach for your type of content that you like to you like to fuck with me and say these things but i'm not trying to beef with you like bro i like watching your videos but i'm not trying to i ain't trying to go back and forth with you all the time the greatest anime villains of all time all right and i'm gonna explain all right now obviously bleach and hunter hunter are amazing shows without the villains however however take this cell junior looking ass boy out of hunter hunter and it's not gonna be the same take this dripful beautiful magnificent the amazing villain Get off his dick i literally five seconds ago said i was not trying to beef with you and then you start glazing eyes and Bro, get off his meat. Chico, get off his meat, bro. He's, yes, he's beautiful. But also, Bakia is right there on the screen. He's sexy as fuck. Amazing villain out of Bleach, and it's just not going to be the same, bro. And anime simply cannot and, that, be and also, that's a whole different approach. If you take Miriam out of Hunter x Hunter, it's insignificant. If you take Aizen out of Bleach, there's no show. That nigga's the reason y'all have a show. He is your villain. He's everything in that show. Miriam is like a small piece of what Hunter x Hunter is. I Aizen is the piece. That's kind of or I ain't gonna lie. But yes, that's a whole different like ball game, bro. It's just not gonna be the same, bro. And anime simply cannot be peak without peak villains, bro. They, they go hand in hand, all right? A great show needs a great villain, all right? It needs a great antagonist, okay? An antagonist is everything. Would Little Red Riding Hood be a great story if it wasn't for this big ass wolf granny <laughs> nigga? No, it would not, bro. That shit would be a lame ass never bought story, okay? You need a great antagonist to push the story, bro. Especially when the antagonist is built up for a long time, all right? You got the moderate statue from way back in day planting the seeds of an antagonist early on is the most amazingly smart thing you could ever do as a manga writer okay because unlike a certain antagonist who was pulled out of thin air Trash. at the last moment of a show that was I once my favorite show and so they fumbled that shit, bro